In this video, we will look at how to import your product inventory into Limworks for the first time. We will do this using the Limworks Data Import tool, which can be accessed by going to Settings, Import and Export Data, and then Import Data. Once the screen has loaded, you'll need to select the option for Import Once. This allows us to set up a one-time import. We will then need to give the import a name, such as New Inventory Import. Once you have given the import a name, you'll need to select the type. In our case, we're importing new products into the system, so we'll need to select the inventory import. Once you've selected the type of import, select Next, and here you'll be able to browse to the file which you would like to import. Please remember that this file must be stored in a CSV format. I've gone ahead and selected the file that contains the data for my new products. Here is a preview of how my CSV file looks. As you can see, you can call your column headers anything you wish as we will show you how to map your columns in just a moment. Returning to our import now, once we have selected our file, we are taken to the column mapping screen. Column mapping allows you to specify which column headers in your file corresponds to which fields that are accepted by Limworks. For example, I have called my SKU number item number, but Limworks expects this to be SKU, so I'm going to go ahead and map these now. When you are importing extended properties, the easiest method is to put the column name in your CSV file as the property name and the values of the property in the rows below. You will then need to map extended properties to the item extended property option and then select the new drop down that appears as attribute. When you are importing titles, descriptions or prices which are specific to a channel, for example if you are importing your eBay listing prices, you will need to select the option for description, price or title by channel from the drop down menu. You will then need to enter the source and subsource for the channel in which you are importing for. In my case, the source is going to be eBay and the subsource will be eBay1. You can also use the column mapping screen to set up default values. These are useful when you want to import something, but the value will always be the same. In our case, we are going to add a default extended property where the attribute name is, will be brand and the value will always be Limworks. In this case, the extended property will also be an attribute. Finally, on the column mapping stage, we can add expressions. This allows you to add another column where an expression will set the value of the data. Once you've carried out any required work on the column mapping screen, you can click Run Now. This will send the import to the queue and this will run in approximately 5 minutes.